That's good. <laughs> so yeah, it could easily be. Neo, you still digging in the? Uh, Welcome to Omni's Eat Vegan Kitchen. My name is John, and today we're going to be making two different types of whipped topping from our holiday cookbook. We're going to start by making a coconut based whipped topping, uh, and then we're also going to move to the aquafaba based whipped topping. And what we're going to do is turn our can over, and this has been in the refrigerator overnight, and we're going to hope, hopefully, be able to scoop the cream or pour the water out and then just scoop the, the nice thick coconut uh, cream out of here and put it into our wonderful, hardworking KitchenAid mixer. Ha ha! And that definitely, uh, that definitely works because uh, whether you can see it or not, I was able to just open the bottom and pour it all out. And then I'm gonna add one half cup of confectioner sugar. And then I need one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna start my blender to whipping. I'm gonna stop my, my whipping <laughs> right now and uh, take out half of my vanilla whipped cream or vanilla cream and I'm going to try making a, a, a cacao based whipped topping as well. Okay. And I've taken about half of my whipped topping out. And now I'm going to open my cacao powder and I'm going to get one teaspoon approximately. So there you have coconut, coconut uh, vanilla, coconut chocolate. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and then reset and then uh, make my aquafaba vanilla and cocoa. All right, welcome back. Got everything washed. We're getting set to go on the aquafaba. And I have to try everything. If you've seen my if you haven't seen the egg video where I try where I try black salt for the deviled eggs recipe, go look that up because it's pretty funny. The black salt's are pretty vile for a very direct chemical. Okay. This is actually um, whether it's this is the juice from our uh, or drain juice from our chickpea beans or garzam garbanzo beans. I'm gonna whip this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add a half a cup of confectioner sugar and my teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and put my half cup of confectioner sugar in there. And my teaspoon of vanilla. Aquafaba cream is all done. I'm going to go ahead and scoop out half and then add my teaspoon of cacao powder. And I've got my cacao powder blended in here pretty well. I'm gonna add just a like a half teaspoon more. The, there's definitely a cacao smell to this um, and it doesn't look like it doubled in size again so I mean I I don't know I don't know if I under with the other stuff uh, but I don't really think so I think this stuff just is pretty cool this is very cool stuff I'm gonna have my taste testers come in and test this out in just a second all right, 
I'm all set up for my taste test. I'm gonna have my special guests, uh, well, my regular Neil and my special guest, Sean, for a repeat appearance. Alright, there's a spoon shot. And we're gonna take, we're gonna taste, there's a vanilla and a cacao whipped topping. Uh, the idea is that this would replace your traditional cool whip or your beaten egg white whip. So, cacao, vanilla, cacao, vanilla, go ahead. Can I get the big bowls? Yep, yeah, no, just try, just try it. Just <laughs> dip your spoon in. It's got a whippy uh, con uh, consistency. consistency yeah. yeah. All right, what do you think of the, the cacao? Marshmallow. It's very marshmallowy. Yeah. Now, compared to like a whipped cream, how do you feel? Would it, would it replace it? It's lighter than a whipped cream in my opinion. You think it's like, well, that, yeah, yeah. That, I have, that's a funny story because I started out, that's definitely, that's some really cool stuff. Uh, very well whipped, it's very, uh, See, I don't think it's lighter per se, but it's just very thick, whipped, you know. But um, I taste like a mocha, like a coffee. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chocolate. I, I added a cacao. That's, that's the coming from the cacao in it. It's, okay. it's a pure, it's more of a dark chocolate flavor than a traditional chocolate. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and try the vanilla. Let's go on there. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. All right. It doesn't have a vanilla scent. Go ahead. This, this, you know, this one tastes like stale marshmallows. Yeah, that just tastes like marshmallow. <laughs> That's that like tastes, marshmallow. That tastes like stale marshmallows to me. I don't, I don't think it tastes bad. I mean, would you eat that? If it's cool, maybe. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's, it's yeah, the fact that it's warm is throwing it off a bit for me. I think it would firm up a bit if it was warm too. Yeah, Are you cold? cool? Yeah. yeah, if it was cool, it would uh, definitely be more like a Cool Whip that I would be used to eating. Right. But I think that would replace. Yeah. Now, you think yeah, both yeah, of those are pretty okay. All well, right, and now we're gonna try the uh, the vanilla coconut whip. Oh. This is coconut. Is it coconut cream? This is beef. a frosting consistency almost. Yeah, this is a yeah. very thicker. I could I could not get this to, this does not whip up. It's very, it is really good. I love it. Now, I love coconut, so. So disclaimer there. Sean's out with coconuts. So cuckoo for coconuts. This one replace Cool Whip. But cool Whip. But you don't you more think it's of more a, of an icing. It, it might have more of a frosting, of per se. Like you know, you can just, on cookies or cupcakes. That's not cookies. Cupcakes. It'd be a nice thing to uh, write out on a cake. Write a nice message. So it's a, so it's an icing. Yeah. Or more of an icing. Not so much a Cool Whip. Yes. All right. Man. Let's get in this one. Chocolate. Chocolate. Coconut. Tastes like chocolate coconut. Yeah, it does taste like chocolate coconut. Very stupid. The two main, two main things to kick it in there. I think this would be nice if you put it inside of like a cookie type thing, like a, a filling within oh. sort of sort yeah. of like ice cream sandwich or something. So you're almost you're almost talking like an Oreo filling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so you got four things here. What's number one for you? What what's the, what's dinging all the bells? You're going chocolate coconut. Oh, that one. And then regular coconut and chocolate. Was it? Chocolate, uh, aquafaba. Aqu aquafaba, and then lastly, regular aquafaba. I think I would go in about the same order. Um, same order? I do really enjoy this. Um, it's good. Give it, you know, you have to understand that that stuff is literally, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like the State Puff Marshmallow. Right? It is like the State <laughs> The chocolate State Puff Marshmallow. See if, uh, I'd be curious if you put it in the freezer and see what comes out, see how it how it lasts in the freezer. Oh, I'm sure. uh, well, see how much it firms up. See uh, maybe if it even turns into like an ice cream type thing. Neil Stable digging into the coconut. My personal favorites. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit only because I don't like cacao or chocolate. I'm gonna go vanilla, vanilla coconut, vanilla, aquafaba, chocolate, chocolate. I think all of these, as far as I'm concerned, would replace Cool Whip. I have no particular allegiance to Cool Whip. It, either it's texture or, or or whatever, I would top anything with this. I definitely can see, I, I, I almost like to see like a combination of the two vanillas. This uh, would be perfect in a banana split. 
right there. Yeah. It's already got the marshmallow flavor. Mm. They're all very pleasant, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they're not bad. Uh, I, for where they came from, yeah, they're all right. Ouch. So, if you like this episode, and if you like having somebody else who's tall filling up my camera, and who likes to play with the food, not unlike this kid. I mean, that's... That's substantial. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. Uh, click, click like, click. Click a like, thumbs up down below, leave a comment, um, I don't know what else to do with these. Subscribe to see more of this stuff. Ow, and buy our good god almighty. You were doing that to a bell. Anyhow, make sure you buy our cookbook. Honest to god, do not eat it off the counter. Alright, that's weird. Alright. Get me out of this. Check out our cookbooks. It's a riveting read. It's a riveting read, yes. Alright. <laughs> Good night. Farewell. So long. Why are you mixing the two? You know, man. Anyhow. Oh, we're gonna be selling our cookbook. Check out our cookbook. Check out our cookbook. Oh, Alright, check out our cooker. Meal cook stop it.